Yo, what's going on guys? It's Orion back from Fur to Heat. Just got back from the store. Of course, couldn't help myself. Bought more pepper plants. And I bought a thyme plant just in case. Because I saw online, I, can't, I don't know if it's true. I'm going to see if it's true for myself or not. But apparently a little thyme plant will actually keep away aphids. <clears throat> so I'm going to see. What, cause, and that was my problem last year. Towards the end of the year, I, get, I got infested with aphids. And when I brought my plants inside, even though I exterminated all of them, what I thought was all of them, one... I'm sure it was left over, maybe a couple, and that just brought in thousands, if not millions more. So again, the thyme plant will hopefully save that from happening this year. We'll see, guys. We'll see. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little overview of the haul I just got. Again, went a little, a little crazy. Look at that. I got a whole tote, whole tote full of stuff. But yeah, just a couple, a couple like three dollar plants here. Got a uh, orange blaze bell pepper. That'll be an interesting one for sure. I've never had an orange blaze. So we're gonna try that out. And again, I know a lot of people, when they see a plant like this, they try and stay away from it or they try and pluck all these off so it would go bigger. I mean, in Canada, it's not really viable. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you could do it if you wanted to just get one yield out of it. But what I like to do is get this yield out of the way first, let that happen and then, and then um, pick those and then it'll grow bigger from there. You get a second harvest instead of getting just one big harvest because the Canadian, uh, the Canadian growing season is not as long as it would be in like the states per se. Like even in the states, you can start growing in like February. Here, it's still like three, four feet of snow on the ground in February. So, we really don't get our growing season until May. That's pretty much when I started this channel, well, at least for the most part, at least the outside portion, for sure. But moving on. <laughs> Moving on, we've got another orange habanero plant. I don't know if you guys, you guys have seen, but um, that big guy up there, this big guy right here, that is also an orange habanero plant. So this is pretty much a miniature version of that, more or less. That one's probably like a month or two ahead, honestly. But yeah, here's that thyme plant I was talking about. So maybe we'll replant that in here, maybe, because I did just get a little mini raised bed. So maybe I'll plant that in there and we'll move that around. That's probably what I'll actually do it now that I think about it that's probably yeah that's exactly what I'll do no probably that's exactly what I'll do Ooh. the long thin we got another long thin guys at least I think this was a long thin yeah got another cayenne long thin plant here another little per, little bit of a leggy one but production has already started on this plant so we'll see how she goes and my, my plants are just starting as well my cayenne long thins are just starting production so kind of interesting timing and this is uh, one of the plants I had last year, guys. I, I kept looking, looking, looking for it. There it is, guys. The big Bertha bell pepper. The big Bertha. Again, got some, uh, got some nodes just getting ready to flower on in there. It's going to be a beauty, man. This will be a beauty. I got some big, 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 I mean, massive, like the size of my hand bell peppers last year. It was freaking awesome. And then I got this one last minute. <laughs> last minute when I was in there. It's a, um, it's another cayenne, but I don't think it's a... Uh, I think it's a, uh, yeah, it's a ring of fire. So this is the one that I had last year. I never had any of the long thins last year. It's had the ring of fire. So pretty much found a bunch of plants from, uh, from uh, Lowe's and I think co-op here in Alberta that I had last year that I couldn't find until now. Pretty much just about June. But yeah, again, guys, of course, we had to get it. Another Carolina Reaper. And again, this one's a little bit bigger than the one I have little bit bigger than the one I have. The one I have is right there. You kind of see that three gallon planter there. But yeah, big haul of pepper plants guys. And I did get a, um, <laughs> I did get a gnome as well. A little solar gnome. It's, this one's really cool. I had never seen one like this before, but yeah, solar lights right out the eyes. That'll be really fun to see at night. But yeah, a bunch of planters to transplant these guys into. And soil bag there, a couple soil bags inside as well right there. Yeah, we'll take care of business, get these transplanted, and show you guys the final product. All right, guys, little update. I normally don't use this soil either. I just got it. It's got it really freaking cheap today. I won't lie. But yeah, we still got the big Bertha left and the orange habanero, and then I'm gonna have to probably go get some more pots. I think because I'd like to put those into a little bit bigger planters than I have kicking around. I think. So hopefully, I'll find some bigger pots for those tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the big Bertha in that green pot there. And then put the orange habanero, I believe that is. Or is that the, that might be the ring of fire, actually. That might be the ring of fire cayenne. Yeah, I'll put the ring of fire cayenne in that blue container. Blue pot, that is. But yeah, we've got the Carolina Reaper in the red one. And the cayenne long thing in the, in the purple one. Hopefully those grow nice and big. 
Okay. Pretty much final product, guys, right there. All transplanted. Got the time. That little mini raised bed. Got the big bertha. Carolina Reaper. Cayenne Long Thin. And then I decided against the other cayenne. I went for the orange habanero because its root system was a little bit better and needed to get out of that pot ASAP. So that's what we're looking at, guys. Beautiful, beautiful transplant. Thanks for watching, guys.